Hello friends, and a heartfelt welcome to Fright Night Files and another episode of this creepy ass game called The Beast Inside. Last time, I think we were thinking that we were uh, watched over by the KGB. And I think we work for CIA, right? I think that's how, how it goes. We'll find out. We found a tracker inside a deer, yeah? Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. Found a tracker inside this deer that was hung here, up here recently. So someone has been here. What are we supposed to do now? There's no like objectives, anything. Eh? Oh yeah, right up here. Switch on the fuses in the basement. Will do. Don't mind if I do. And again, this game looks beautiful. Even though it's pretty old. I think it's from uh, 2019. It's not that old, but still older. I remember back in the day some twisted kids in the area played with the occult, but I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. Yeah. But clearly the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. I'm pretty damn sure that it was not kids. Are we going the right way? Can we jump down here? I don't know. Do we die? I don't wanna die. Sorry. Where's our house? <laughs> ah, oh, there it is. Thought we were lost for a minute. But we are not. This is our beautiful house. Just need a lick of paint or two. Go down to the basement. Oh, that horse scared the shit out of us last time, right? <laughs> I think it was behind here, right? Fuse box. Give me power. Power to the people. The power's back on, I guess. Emma will be happy. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much Poe. Well, my job here is Alan done. Alan Edgar Poe? Better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. It's only the third month. What's it going to be like by the ninth? <laughs> this does look weird, yeah? Okay. Wonder what's behind there. Emma! We have power! Boom! Jesus <laughs> woman! You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder what if the magician used to live here. Now she's happy. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Yeah, Upstairs. we did. Now watch carefully. If it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start? Now she's not that moody. Box full of cash. <laughs> yeah, sure. <clears throat> Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? You've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition... She's pregnant, you know? It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. Go relax. You could take off your clothes as well. I 
Our new objective is to paint the wall. If I can't help you, I'll awesome. help you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? Mm, no. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. <laughs> Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, crypt analysis? I hate I mean, painting. You the CIA? And now I'm playing a what? game. I don't want what? to paint, man. Like, um, <laughs> something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back. Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone. Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? You could be KGB, I guess. What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. It's an itsy bitsy spider. Let's move the furniture. Just a painting with that big top hat like she was wearing, right? Oh god. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, he'll come to us in our dreams and tell us <laughs> everything. Oh. I'll hang you first. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous wow. century. I think us that's no, I keep mixing, you know. We have two characters, yeah? One from the past, uh, and this one. But well, we saw that hat guy, you know, in the house. It's the hat man. Hello? Pick up and pick up the phone. That's probably from the office. Where is the phone? Sounds from in here. Here it is. Hello, boss. Hello. It's David. So, this is it, boss. This I is knew the moment it. when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress. He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck, oh. on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. We also thought that the Soviets is watching us, yeah? And there goes my vacation. They killed that there. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. They killed that there and put a tracker inside it. Where's my office? This looks like an office. What an awesome house, yeah? It's a mansion in the middle of the woods. To learn about famous crypt analysts from around the world, you have to know the basics of code breaking yourself. Can you de decode all the names we have hidden here? Numbers correspond to individual people. Use Caesar's disk and get to know the great minds of crypto cryptography that frequently changed the course of history. Will you accept the challenge? I will. I guess. 
Let's do some work first. It's the Enigma machine. Ah, still warm. Still warm? Weren't you just asleep? <laughs> Emma knows how to get me on my feet. Oh, she just put it in. Okay. So, how do I do it again? First, let's take a look at the manual. Yeah, let's do that. Please follow the instructions below. Open the cover and place the cylinders. Easy. I'm reading here. Please follow the instructions below before activating the device. Must be calibrated. To do that, follow these steps. Open the top cover by holding the handle on the right side. The handle For starters, on the right side. I need to open the top cover. Is this the top cover? It is. I need to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. They are? Oh, yeah, I see. One? I need to remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. One. Two. Am I doing this right? This must be three. This is six, right? Where's four? That's five. This must be four. Uh, you added something wrong. This isn't how it should be. Okay. But there's only space for four of them. And we have a lot more than that. No, it shouldn't be inserted like that. There's no inserted. <laughs> I don't really get it then. Should we read some more? I'll from check here? the manual again. I think it was point two. Next, place the cylinders marked with Roman numerals in their right slots. Oh, okay. Number two, in position one. Two, in position one. Two. And four in position two. Yep. That is something oh, wrong. Come on. I'm not finished there, man. Five in position three. And Eight in position four. This must be it, right? Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. Close cover. Set the numbers in the windows to the following position from left to right. Two, fourteen, six, twenty-two. Two, fourteen. Should have gone the other way. Two fourteen six twenty-two. Piece of cake. Now for the last step, the wires at the bottom. Open the bottom drawer of the device. Plug the wires in the drawer in the following configuration: A F G C R T. Hey, uh, don't open this again. What you do, man? 
Right, now I just have to plug that in using the right order. Let's see from here. A. Say F. G. Set. It's where? I don't see it. X, Y, where's set? It's right here, man. R and T. That's it. Now I just need to enter the password. Password. Close the button drawer. Run a test using the test password BF, oh, BPF LUP. After entering these letters, you should see the decoded message reading Friday. Let's do it again. Um, BPF. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. Oh, oh. don't do that. B P F. L L U P. Okay, it works. And that's we'll Friday. To it. Yeah, let's do it. What's this? It looks like a message encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination I'll be able to decipher it. Now how do I set it up? We just have, didn't we? A Roman 5-3-S-T. This must be a clue for the encrypted message. What does it mean, though? And how can I use it to set enigma up? How the F should I know, man? I thought we had set it up. Maybe that person used my code table to encrypt the message. How can I guess which combination was used? Oh, is that... I think I know. Five, three, ST. Five, three, Oh, it was five, like in a V. V five S T, right? No, V O three S T. V O three S T. I don't know, man. ST. A Roman 5, 3, ST. The hints from this piece of paper surely have something to do with the machine. Yeah. Maybe the code table will tell me more. I'm trying to figure it out. Let's find something here with ST. Are there several of them? Or is there only one? ST. There's one here. Ah, oh, there's one here too. Damn it. Okay, there's only those two. 
But how do we decide which one it is? Roman 5 and a 3. Here's 5, 3, ST. Where's the other one? Okay. You sure it can only be one of these, right? You have to write it down. I need to find pen and paper, I think. Or we can just look, it's 17. Let's try this one first. 1, 4, 7, One. What did I say? One four seven. What's the last one again? Five. So far, so good. O five nineteen O three five nineteen three and ten. Okay. S T G set. Oh, come on. Thank you. Yes. The solution is right in front of me. I know it. A oh, Roman five, three S T. Think, Adam. Think. You've cracked way more complicated codes. The configuration must be in the table. S T. G set. XG, right? Is that XO? XO. X and O. Oh, let's try it out. XGD. X, G, D, T, J. I think this is the right one. Can we make a space? Yeah. X, L, right? X, L. I think this is a trust no one. C, M, H. A Y H but M V set but yourself B F Y D N Plus no one but yourself. Sounds ominous. Who wrote this anyway? I don't know. Let's find out. Now what? Check combinations 29 and 30. Okay, here we go. Still nothing. Fuck. Oh, watch your leg. Okay. Anger a lot. This terrible crime shocked. Fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. Language.
Holy moly. Something terrible happened oh, in how here. How long has this been here? Is this blood? Or just rust? That's what slashed this, this road? It is. More notes from Nicholas. That's what he used to slash this road? It hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it, I almost broke... It hurts, so I'm alive. Damn it, I almost broke my neck. It took me by surprise. I wasn't prepared at all for something like this. It didn't really look human up close. When he rushed at me, I felt all of his pain suddenly seep into me. I never experienced anything like that. His gaze, like an abused animal's. That desperation in his eyes. I was so dumbstruck, I couldn't move. I wanted to scream, but I felt as if someone had ripped my vocal cords out. Who the hell is he? What was he doing in my father's bedroom? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Okay, now we're back in the past, I think. Back to the past. What is he doing in our house? Is he the one responsible for my father's disappearance? What if they're in the basement? No. I'd rather not think of whose blood that was. Check your father's bedroom. Don't mind if I do. Where is his bedroom? You are not alone. My head. Jeez. You can't come in here. Hear me, you snot. You're not allowed here. Why not? What have I done? Oh, what's wrong with me? Out of the room. They said it wouldn't happen again. But what they is? Promised, dear. It's barricaded. God, now. what happened? Looks like a hurricane went through here. Who is Maria? What was this about? What conversation? For what? To Jacob Hyde. Yeah, old cheapskate. A man's life ain't worth nothing to you. I ain't asked for ya. For no five hundred dollars or thousand dollars. I just wanted a small sum, but you don't want to give me no dime. After what happened to my husband, who gave his life for your sake, I ain't leaving it like that. You got my word, Maria. This one angry bitch. father's watch. I heard that he got it as a gift. My father was always obsessed with punctuality and order. I often wondered why he bothered to start a family when all it ever meant to him was mess and delays. I have no idea who ML is, but I clearly remember the day when I accidentally knocked the watch off the table. My father literally stopped dead in his tracks. I expected to get a hell of a beating, but he only gathered all the metal parts with shaking hands and walked to the bedroom where he then spent the rest of the day trying to fix it. The watch stopped working for good, but my father never threw it away. He tried to fix it time and again, but to no avail. Alrighty then. For JH from ML. Take it. Sure as hell can throw it. You are not alone. Someone is playing with me. Quit playing games with my heart. With my heart. With my heart.
That's a good matchstick, yeah? It just keeps burning. Mm -hmm. Hello? Oh. It's the Rat Pack. Back up, back up, man, back up. What the f? Hello? God damn it! I feel like this house is trying to kill me. It is? And what the f was that? That ghoul? I can remember how upset my father was after the accident, and when he found out what happened to George, he was really terrified. Friday, October 18th, 1850. Mining accident. An explosion in the Caroline mine, Blackstone, New Hampshire, lost the lives of three miners. Witnesses claim tremors were felt up to half a mile from the mine, and the bang could be heard from inside homes even with the window closed. The cause of the explosion and whether it could be avoided is yet to be determined. A reporter has not been able to contact either of the mine's co-owners, George Whitehead was unavailable, while Jacob Hyde refused to comment on the accident. We will provide our readers with further details as the story unfolds. Oh, it just, that's the shadow of the statue. What what the F was that, man? Oh, do, 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 do not do that. It's a gun. Just in case. I'd rather not kill anyone. Hopefully it won't come to that. Lockpick. That's what I needed. Is it? Time to go to the basement. And see what's behind that door. I don't see shit. What's this? It must be one of those amulets supposed to bring wealth. My father wasn't superstitious, but when push came to shove, he would clutch as straws. Hmm. Could it have belonged to my father's associate, George Whitehead? Maybe he gave it to my father as a gift. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe he stole it. <laughs> Let's just throw it. Using the mouse, place the lockpick under one of the cylinders. Move up and down to raise the cylinder. When the cylinder crosses the cut line, block it quickly using the left mouse button. To pick a lock, you need to block all the cylinders. Okay. Ah, I see now. I think. Just have to time it right. Okay, let's get down to the basement. Always love to go to the basement. I effing hate basements. 
can't remember how many times I got beaten with this thing. It's a wonder it hasn't fallen apart. Father would sometimes beat me for imagined wrongdoings. He claimed that I was robbing the guests. Talking to someone in the hallway at night, sneaking to the mine, etc. None of that was true. Eventually he figured that since I got Eventually he figured that since I got used to getting thrashed, he needed a better method of punishment. He started locking me up in the darkness for hours, sometimes even days. Okay. Back in the days, man. can't see shit and I can't remember how to okay F <laughs> take some petroleum I hate basements. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it can't be happening. It can't be true. Why do they say I'm safe now if it's coming back? We're not safe. Get through what metal door? My father's inn's first advertisement and said to me, We did it, boy! Metal door. Heavy metal door. To refill the lamp, open your inventory and look for a bottle of kerosene. Okay, it's not petroleum then. How do I get to our inventory? Kerosene. Use. Here we go. It's blood. There's a metal door with a bloody handprint on it. Oh, come on, that wasn't fast. Blood on uh, everywhere, man. I should be able to get into another room from here. Yeah, if we could break this open. You know? <coughs> like so. Move faster, please. Who's the help man? Holy moly! Shit, I can't pass here. 
There must be another way. Come on. Really? Okay. That sucks. Move faster, please. Thank you. Just about to say I ain't got time for this, man. Get out of the room. How in the world did they get out if I will leave the episode here in suspense of what's going to happen? This is a cliffhanger and a half, right? What a creepy ass game, man. This is a creepy ass game. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.